Welcome to qualifying in the Republic of Azerbaijan. The teams are making their last-minute adjustments before the lights go green and the fight for pole position can get underway. With the weather as it is today, Anthony Davidson, we have, to some extent, to throw the form book out of the window. Who do you see having the advantage on this slippery, unpredictable track surface? The trouble is, Crofty, they need to be thinking about the race tomorrow. You don't want to go jacking up the ride heights and piling on a few points of extra downforce that you're not going to want in the Grand Prix itself. The Parc Ferme regulations mean that you have to make that choice. The best thing the drivers can do is adapt with the tools they have available in the cockpit. Moving the brake bias forward will help stop the rear end slipping out under braking, and opening up the differential can really help tame the oversteer on corner exit. The drivers that can make best use of these techniques will have the best chance for success here today. Hi guys, Brown here, and welcome back to another episode of my F1 2019 Grand Mode here today in Baku for what is part 25 of this new career, this new season, and as you can see, it's raining in Baku, which <laughs> I don't know if it would happen very often out in Azerbaijan. I think the weather's normally quite nice over there, don't quote me on that, but we're in qualifying, and Baku is one of my favourite tracks on the calendar. It's not my favourite, but it's what is up there. As we cross the line up for our first lap in Q1 and we're in P13 and already I can tell you that's not going to be enough. So we go again, we cross the line, this time it's only P17. We actually went again then and then onto our final run at the end of Q1 you can see it's actually dried up so it didn't really matter that we couldn't get the pace on the inter you can see we had a little bit of a moment there with Giovinazzi in the Mercedes and now we <laughs> bolt it down the straight back it's one of those weird tracks in terms of setup I think I'm just using a normal setup here as we cross the line and we're still P17 because we just started our lap and this is during the lap so we're following Givenatsi through the castle section and now for his part this part got tricky my opinion and heading up to the back of him and he just stops um, it wasn't too bad but uh, at the time you know when it's in the moment it, it seemed a lot worse so we crossed the line and that's going to put us P3 and comfortably through into Q2 see so those out of Q1 then you can see there Albans in there I think Perez was as well as we set our first lap in Q1 in Q2 we've gone P10 so we're right on the bubble and we go towards the end of Q2 and we've been held up there and don't know what that racing point was doing there which needed to make up its mind of where it wanted to go it's hindered us a little bit but it hasn't stopped us from going through into Q3 we've gone P6 so pretty much cut to be through you can see there Lance Stroll out, I didn't think it was Stroll we came together with Daniel Ricciardo, Kibitza and Devon Butler there and into Q3 we set our first lap in Q3 and we've gone P5 and now heading up to start our final lap in Q3 I've completely mistimed it and the track is getting quicker it's one of those sessions you want to be last out on the track which we would have been if I hadn't have mistimed it so we're going to be starting 10th Let's get into this Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Hopefully, it's a cracker. With controversy behind the safety car, last second overtakes and a historic podium for Williams and for Lance Stroll. So let's find out what lies in store for us this year. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. The 
Baku City Circuit measures roughly six kilometers and is made up of 20 corners and two DRS zones. The circuit winds around the narrow city, through the old town, and even brushes against the city's medieval walls. However, as beautiful as the setting is, this track is also a ferocious technical challenge, where the smallest of mistakes could lead to catastrophic consequences for all of our drivers. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Let's have a chat about Williams. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Pierre Gasly and Magnussen, Giovinazzi, Holkenberg, Brown and Devon Butler. Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty. Kubica, Daniel Ricciardo and Stroll, Norris, Faber, Sergio Perez and Alexander Albon, Russell and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid and with preparations almost complete let's head down to the track so we're starting p10 then the strategy going to be a one stop from the soft tires onto the hards and the only thing really i'm not going to touch the strategy the only thing really that i'm going to do is just put a lot of fuel in the car because if we're starting this far down i want to be able to push as the five red lights come on here in baku it's lights out and away we go it's a two alphas going wheel to wheel at the start everyone's crowding we're going to go for the lunge down the inside We've gained a lot of positions there as we head down we're still fighting with our teammate we're up into p6 for a brief moment there grosjean had re overtaken us but we do stay ahead of grosjean so we're into p6 just behind our teammate we needed that start we needed the dive bomb and wow it worked perfectly there battling going on behind and now we've got our teammate just in front of us as Nico Hulkenberg is going wheel to wheel with Roman Grosjean trying to go round the outside of him he's got the job done look those behind um, Verstappen and Giovinazzi caught up as here comes Lewis Hamilton as Charles Leclerc is all over the back of Valtteri Bottas it just Alpha just seemed really weird this year is I thought Hamilton had got the double move he hadn't Bottas still defending Leclerc Leclerc though to the inside Bottas just holding like holding a thread to stay ahead and he's actually done it he's got the exit though and now Hamilton is kind of going for it now as he tries to follow Charles's line he couldn't quite do that Bottas is still there this is amazing racing they've been side by side since the pit straight that was from whereabouts we are on the track a good half a lap ago but Charles in the end has got past Bottas and he's up into P2 as they head into the castle section of this track as we skip on and now Hamilton is all over the back of Valtteri Bottas he's going to go to the outside of Bottas Bottas is going to squeeze him and he's a battle in that hard you can see Gasly is now getting on the act we're just going to sit him back we're not quite close enough yet to do anything Gasly though has got Bottas round the outside that's a lovely move and now we're eyeing him up we would have thought that at the start of this race it will be battling with Bottas and everyone in front of us we needed that dive bomb of a start and it's worked for us here we go here goes Gasly on Hamilton and has Gasly got it down the inside into turn one he has Hamilton still just just there and he's still on the outside here Hamilton but he just hasn't got the pace but he has now he's got the straight line speed of course and now here comes Bottas he's going at Gasly and now we're going to 
catch Gasly napping and goes sailing round the outside. That's a lovely move on Pierre Gasly we've done there. He's still there though, Gasly, as they head through. And now this is the perspective from my, my camera, my on board. You can see, I, to be honest, I kind of outbroke myself. You can see it there, but it paid off. And we did get Gasly. There was a couple of bits of contact there, but we're past him. And nonetheless, we can now get on by attacking Hamilton. He's also attacking Bottas. Wow, what a race. This is Vettel is currently leading this race. Leclerc is firing off into the distance and then was nearly contact with Hamilton, Bottas and the wall there. And we're going to get the double toe and fly past Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas into turn one. Bottas now trying to defend Hamilton to the outside. Gasly is still there. Bottas has got the move done and still ahead of Lewis Hamilton but for how much longer because Hamilton's going to go for the move where back in 2017 he made contact with Sebastian Vettel and he's done it round the outside that's a lovely move by Lewis Hamilton as now here comes Gasly yet again on Valtteri Bottas Hamilton has just been <laughs> submitted to the double toe Gasly He's done an absolute me mental move there if he can pull this off. A bit like Lightning McQueen in cars that are right at the start, just getting past one car and slipping in between the both of them to get the optimum line past the next one. And Gasly is safely through now. As here comes Hamilton. He's not giving up on Bottas. The former teammates are going at it. Left, right, and centre. Of course. They didn't really rate they didn't really race this hard at Mercedes last season. So now they can really go for it. The gloves are off. They're not at the same team. Bottas is still on the outside of Hamilton. Hamilton trying to get the move done down the inside into turn two. Bottas is still there though. The the Alpha might may be very slow in the corners, but it's absolutely rapid in a straight line and that's pretty much all you need in Baku as long as you, you're quick enough to get through the middle sector as Hamilton's still there and he can't quite do it yet uh, to all this contact Hamilton did finally get past Bottas Bottas isn't finished with him yet though here comes Bottas yet again flies past Lewis Hamilton and down the inside into turn one it's actually gotten before the corners Hamilton tries to go round the outside there's contact yet again there surely there's no way Hamilton's getting around there without contact he's been caught napping and now Jeevan Nats he's got in on the act and got past Bottas as well and now Max Verstappen in the other Ferrari is getting in on the act as well he's going to have the straight line speed it's Ferrari power v Ferrari power as they head down towards turn one but Verstappen is coming into the pits and we skip on a good couple of laps as we are now coming into the pits we're going to go on to the hards to make our one and only stop of this race you can see the Mercedes in as well it's a quick stop by Red Bull it's a mighty stop 1.8 seconds we were stationary, that was a new record, I think. I think that is the record, 1.8 seconds. We're going to come out though in a bit of breathing space, but if the keen eyed viewer would have noticed, we'd been beaten out by Pierre Gasly when I was showing all the battling with Bottas and Hamilton. We were just maintaining a, a three, four second gap to Gasly as here comes Ricardo down the inside of Sergio Perez and then we're just waiting in the wings probably have my cat then we're just waiting in the wings as Ricardo is side by side with Perez of course that Renault just doesn't have the straight line speed compared to the racing point as he's going to go round the outside Goes Perez, he's still ahead of him, and we're going to go for the lunge down the inside of Danny Rick. And we've got the job done there. That's absolutely make a move. 
and now we're looking to get past Perez we're gonna do the switch back into that corner we've caught him napping those tires are very old on that racing point if we can gain that much time as we head through and there's contact with Perez Perez has hit the wall nearly hit Ricardo and what has happened there you can see here riding on board with Perez he just doesn't admit that the corner's mine I mean I don't own that corner but he's, he's got a back out of that one Perez surely there's no way he thinks he can get through that he's got damage to the front wing and that's his race ruined and into the pits he comes as the battle's not over between Hamilton and <laughs> everyone to be honest in this race is free abreast got it was the house of Roman Grosjean caught up there as Verstappen still behind him and we're skipping on now because we've caught the back of Pig Gasly we're gonna swap him the dummy and now try and go right round the outside at turn three nearly contact there down he decided to turn four and Gasly has to admit defeat and now we can push after Charles Leclerc hopefully and now right round the outside goes Hamilton on Gasly on the on the R and D as here comes Gasly coming back at Hamilton on the R and D we supposedly have the best car at Red Bull I think we're quickest in the aero department we're not we're not quickest in the um, engine I think we are the best in the chassis as well I'm not sure on the um, the wear I don't even think that is measured as they're still battling here and through that was you would have seen was Giovinazzi going around the outside of both Hamilton and Gasly and this is just an amazing battle you think Giovinazzi got away and he just about has but Hamilton is not giving up on Gasly as he goes to the inside at turn one now at turn two and I don't know how much more can what how much more that can happen in this race this is great racing in Baku I see comes the two Mercedes going at it Hamilton on Giovinazzi down the inside we haven't seen this so far this season between the two Mercs going at it as once again we skip on a couple of laps it is Hamilton on the outside I do believe and he is past no it was Giovinazzi sorry Giovinazzi has re overtaken Hamilton and out Gasly going back at Hamilton again they're side by side Gasly's on the outside right round the outside Gasly goes and now it's a drag race up towards turn three and Hamilton has won that by a country mile we skip on again Gasly's not giving up on Lewis Hamilton he's re overtaken him again into what is turn one once they get there is such a long run down into that corner from the final corner as we skip on to the final lap of a race that has been controlled by Sebastian Vettel and Alfa Romeo Alfa have their first win since coming back into Formula One Sebastian Vettel has won his first race in God knows how long in this career save Charles Leclerc is going to take P2 and we're going to get back to back podium finishes with China for last time out it's our third podium of our career this time it was a deserved podium so Alfa Romeo have won it so what a great race it was tell me Ant how did they manage to achieve this win well, I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but the truth is they simply had the best speed package on the day, and a driver who knows how to take advantage of that. It doesn't matter how much time you spend poring over the stats and planning strategies if you can't keep the pace, and our winner today showed they could do both. So here they come now, out onto the podium. It's thrilling to see this team go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best teams in the sport and come out on top. What a superb victory from the Alfa Romeo team.
well what a race that was um so two retirements ricardo and lando norris but now we've got to talk about the elephant in the room the fact that after i recorded this race and went to advanced the game decided to crash so this is the actual result of the race once i redid it i didn't decide to record it because i thought the, what you just saw was such a good race that i didn't really want to re-record it so this is the standings from this from the rerun of the race and what we'll be continuing on for in spain next time out and in monaco and you get the picture after 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 that as well so Mercedes still top, only by nine Amazing points. He's going to talk to Claire. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. That was a good race for Lucas. Are you pleased to see him doing well? You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Another podium. You must be getting used to it up there. You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Appreciate your time. So it's that time of the season where we go for a renegotiate of the contract but for some reason my contract was set that I had to win the race even though we didn't have the fastest car at the start of the season. So I was wondering why the rep was so bad and you can, that's why because they wanted me to win the race and trying to do the renegotiation just it just didn't work. Red Bull were having none of it, Christian Horner tough man to crack in terms of only contract and it ends up that we don't get any contract and we're still gonna have to win to have any chance of getting the rep up so after a bit of a strange end to the video with the game crashing obviously that's out of my hands I literally hit advanced after I recorded everything and it just black screened for a good 10 minutes so I had to redo the race and now what you're seeing now is the highlights for the rerun of the race so you can kind, of, kind of see what happened um, so if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you like this kind of content subscribe I know this has turned out to be a bit of a messy video in the end hopefully for Spain it's a bit more smoother um, but until that Spanish Grand Prix Enjoy the highlights, enjoy what was of this race, goodbye.